as you all have enjoyed my previous video on growing moon and diminishing moon, which are waxing and waning moon in technical terms to be specific. The link is in the description, for reference. And you have observed which direction the dark shadow passes through for crescent and gibbous moons. Furthermore, that video presented a detailed clarification regarding the orientation of the moon, as to whether the right or the left side would be illuminated. Additionally, it showed you the rise and set times of the day as well. It was conventionally based on the Northern Hemisphere. For example Canada, Germany, Russia, England, and so on. Now, what about the Southern Hemisphere? For example, South Africa, Australia, Brazil, Argentina? I am sure my dear viewers have been wondering about that. Watch this video and enjoy these incredibly interesting facts. Have fun. Okay. Right. Where do we start? Let's start with some specific lunar surface markers. How about that? How does the full moon look like from the planet Earth's two different hemispheres? Here you see a comparative northern and southern view using a set of selected lunar craters, in teal, royal blue, and magenta color codes. Well, enough about full moon. Let's focus on the orientation of, um, crescent moon for now. Or a gibbous, for that matter, okay? Now you can turn it over like this, so the North Pole is on your right hand side. Well, as we all know, the crescent moon can be waxing or waning. For waxing moon, which means growing moon, it looks like a hat to an observer at the equator. At any vantage point on the Northern Hemisphere, it looks like the alphabet D to the observer. And it will be growing from right to left. At any vantage point on the Southern Hemisphere, it looks like the alphabet C to the observer. And it will be growing from left to right. For waning moon, which means diminishing moon, it looks like a boat to an observer at the equator. At any vantage point on the Northern Hemisphere, it looks like the alphabet C to the observer. At any vantage point on the Southern Hemisphere, it looks like the alphabet D to the observer. Direction of Growing and Diminishing Moon Are you in Canada? And you see the moon is growing from right to left. Then travel to South Africa. You will see it's growing from left to right.
Rising setting of the Moon in Hemisphere Latitude and Phase Consequential misperception and illusion
Here comes the why question. Please remember to like, subscribe, share.